Ew, what's going on, everybody? It's Thursday night, 9 p.m. It's your boys, Mike and Mish, with the Mike and Mish Show. What's up, Mike? Yo, what is going on? I was uh, dancing in the green room. You see me? I saw you. You. He has a pole in his green room, everybody. And Mike was in there working the fucking pole. Like, you working, to leave. twerking, <laughs> dropping it like it's hot, backing it up. Hit the floor. Everybody it. knows. You should see. <laughs> it's insane. I break it out. I take the pole. I pull the pole up while the countdown's going on. I give a little show. You guys miss it. It's crazy. <laughs> I get wild in here. I can get wild sometimes. Yeah. Maybe maybe we'll do that on the show one of these days. But okay. you know what? We got a big show tonight. We got back-to-back awesome guests. We got the main event and the co-main event coming on we got one half of the main event and one half of the co-main event for the upcoming edmonton canada card for bkfc prospects oh, man. we're going to start off the show with jay jad masan wong and then we're going to bring on jeremiah riggs and uh i'm excited to talk to both of them so why don't we do our shout outs to our sponsors and i'll Ooh. start it off right now we got bucked up we got bucked up supplements bucked up energy Guys, I talk about it all the time. I'm in the gym every single day. I love the pre-workouts. I love the BCAAs. Everything tastes amazing. My favorite flavors are white gummy deer in Miami. Those things are both awesome. Try them out. I like the, um, the what is it, the Blood Raz uh, Buckshots are fantastic. Yeah. The, the Buckshots the, are good. They're great. They're way, way better than a five hour energy for sure. And the creatine, you got, I'm a big creatine guy. You got to have creatine in your system, getting the blood pump into your muscles. Um, they got a really good flavor, a, a good flavorless one, very strong creatine. So go ahead and get their supplements, go to buckedup.com and use promo code Mike and Mish 20 and get yourself right. Springtime's coming. Summertime's coming. You got to get rid of the dad bods and the fucking winter weight guys. Yeah. Don't look like a turd. Get your shit together. All right, here we yeah. go. Let's go. <clears throat> hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Dynamic life, sexual health, weight loss, and anti-aging. Retake control of your life by reaching optimal health. Visit www.livedynamic.com. It's the only online platform where you can become a patient in under 20 seconds. And check out their Instagram page at livedynamic. That's L-I-V dynamic. On Instagram. Oh, boy. Ooh. Hey, with that said, guys, get over there. Support the sponsors that support us. We love them, and, they, uh, and they're and they really good quality products. So um, we wouldn't push them if we didn't believe in them. So go ahead and get over to Bucked Up and Live Dynamic or Dynamic Life right now and uh, check them out. And, Mike, we have our first guest of the evening waiting to come on right now. Why don't we uh, go ahead and do that? What do you say? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do Take a second, watch this video, and when we come back, we will be with Jad Masan Wong. A crank, he says. That's a this crank. Guy, look at, which way is he? Which way is he? He's over here. He's over there. That I'm was Kyle, here. that second Dude, person. Look at this. Look at that. That was a 908 pounder from a podcaster, motherfuckers. I'm sorry for swearing, <laughs> Jean. I'm you sorry. I just I got excited over that video. Thank you for playing that, Mike. It just boosted my ego a little bit. And we're gonna <laughs> welcome God Masan Wong. How are you? And welcome back to the show. Thank yeah. you. I'm good, and you. Oh, we're good. I'm, we are good. Do you understand me? Yes, yes, yes. I think we have a little delay. A little delay. Right. You hear us now? Me, I hear you. I hear you good. Now, Mike, do you think that? <laughs> hold on, hold on one second. Do you think yes. that the delay is going to be a problem? Yeah. Let's uh, let's take you off, and then we'll we'll get you out, and then come right back. Okay. Okay. Good. So I can. Just exit the link and then come right back in. 
Okay. Well, we'll figure this out. Hey, yeah. hey I, live you, shows. What happens sometimes? Yeah, dude, that was so fun. We were down in that bar. Where was that? Greenville. That was in Greenville. Yes. That was in Greenville. We're in the bar and we're sitting at the bar trying to do some work because that bar had amazing Wi-Fi, right? Remember, we were trying yes, to do yeah. videos and shit, and they said. Yeah, there's a BKFC fighter over here um, punching that bag. We go around the corner and there's fucking Zach. It was, it was uh, punching the punching bag, loading it up. It was a good time, dude. Hey. Hi. Ah, there Way we go. go. It's good. We like are magic. good. good. It's like magic. You know, <laughs> that's the beauty of a live show. You know what I mean? It, uh, there's Sometimes there's a lag, sometimes there's a little misconnection, but we figure it out and we move on the fly. And here we are. We're talking to you. We talked to your opponent last night. She's excited to fight you. We had to get you on here. You guys weren't originally the main event, but you are Canada's own, Jad Masan Wong. How, yes, yes. How, how great was that? To, I mean, Sorry for Devin and uh and and mm -hmm. rookie, rookie Randall, but that must have been nice to get that phone call and say, "Hey, guess what? You now you're the main event." Hell yeah! Yes, I'm. I was really happy. Uh, it was a good surprise, uh, and uh, I think uh, it's gonna be a good show too. Uh, even uh, if we were not the main event at the beginning, but we're gonna give uh, to the fans uh, what they're gonna do—a big war. Yeah, and uh, the last time we saw you in the BKFC ring, you were fighting Taylor Starling, and you got the W, but you have stayed busy. We, uh, Mike and I saw that you made your pro boxing debut in December, and I have scoured the internet for footage of this damn fight. Is, was, is there no video of your fight? You, it was a four-round. You won unanimous uh, decision. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, Um uh there was a, a video i just see the video uh, that the promoter post on his, his facebook but uh, it was a good fight uh, i had specific um, goals with this fight it was uh, to not uh, go in her games it was a girl who were uh, who was pretty uh, pushing a lot like uh, putting a lot pressure so uh, me i like when uh, when there's action so when someone put pressure i put my feet there and i put pressure too so in this fight the game plan was to not do this and be more smart and uh, move and uh, doing girls and everything like that and uh it was good i i did it so uh, for that it's a uh, it's good that was, was like a, that was like a check the block thing for you you're uh, uh you yes okay. and with boxing i i still want to continue uh, do boxing fight but uh, like in parallel with bare knuckle, but just for me to improve myself and just to be uh, to have uh, more skills and things like that. In the, in the mm -hmm. BKFC, it, were they aware that you were taking this fight? Did you have to let them know and they were really cool about it? Yeah, yeah, I told them, uh, I, I told them my opponent and everything. They, they knew uh, everything, so uh, it, it was really okay. Would you prefer? glove boxing over bare knuckle or no no <laughs> i don't like uh, the gloves <laughs> i prefer no gloves and even uh, like in mma because i did mma before it was uh, four ounce and after no glove and now after big gloves no i i went out of this fight with no pain uh, nowhere so i wasn't feeling uh, i just i just felt it was not satisfying. Oh, okay. So that's, that's <laughs> why I don't like you to get that feeling, the same like adrenaline mm -hmm. and maybe mm -hmm. a little bit of the body aches that you would get from uh, bare knuckle? Uh, uh, what is the beginning? So like uh, you're saying you, you couldn't feel it in your hands afterwards, right? You just felt like you hadn't even fought. Yes, exactly, because I have no pain uh, nowhere. So uh, it, was, it was cool for the, the uh, staying active. Uh, and the stress before the fight, but after I was like, uh, I don't feel like I just fought. No. <laughs> would Would you consider yourself uh, a bit of an adrenaline junkie? I know that you're a a, a motorcycle mm -hmm. uh, rider, and you have tons of tattoos and piercings and everything. Like, pain is fun, and adrenaline's great for you. Is that what? Is that what? Yes, that? exactly. And I need that. I need this feeling in my life. When did you find out that that was how you were? How, how do you find out you're an adrenaline junkie? Because I think my four-year-old is a nutcase. 
she, she's, out, she's, out, she's out of control. She does crazy stuff. And I'm like, oh, my God, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle this girl. Uh, maybe. But me, I always uh, like it, like the eye emotion. Uh, for me, um, one of the best days to go do roller coaster. If I could do a roller coaster every morning uh, when I wake up, it's going to be uh, like a dream life just to start the, the day with that and uh, since i'm young since i'm young i i like it and the, uh, before when i was a teenager i had the problem with the uh, drugs and things like that but i was searching this feeling in that so now i found it with the sport and the in the combat sport yeah so a, little adrenaline, a little adrenaline little mm adrenaline -hmm. better better than a cup of coffee in the morning you know Yes, yeah, for sure. <laughs> we talked to, you know, Keith Richardson, right? Champ, Keith Richardson. He used to be mm -hmm. a Marine and, you know, he's been in war. He's, he's seen some battle, some crazy stuff. And uh, he had told us that after coming back from war, he, you know, was suffering from some PTSD, stuff like that. But getting in the gym, opening up his own gym and being able to go and fight gave him the feeling of being in war, which for whatever reason now he craves mm -hmm. that. So it actually makes him feel better to get in there and, you know, just feel that adrenaline. It, it, it just, it fills him up. It makes him whole again, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. I understand him. Yeah, but no, because I didn't do what he did, but uh, sure. I can, yeah. But I feel like that need is similar, you know? You've got that similar, uh, yes. like you got to fill that tank. It's, you know, it's going down exactly. to 80. When am I exactly. headlighting the bear? So looks like that. <laughs> and, and almost after every fight i'm like all oh, this just for that just for this little short uh, yeah. moment and after i'm like okay i'm gonna do it again <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so you're not riding your motorcycle slow is that what you're trying to tell us are you are you darting on that thing every time you're on it if i if i'm uh, done on that the uh not every time but uh <laughs> i like you have, uh, <laughs> you, you have uh you have marty watt who is watching the show from new zealand says ducati for life that's what he says J he says jad ducati for life he's a ducati rider over there in new zealand nice nice yeah in a bit what of an adrenaline junkie himself i believe so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah that's yeah sorry no no go ahead <laughs> No, uh, Ducati is really good bike. Really good bikes. Mm. That's what you have, yo, Ducati. Yeah, exactly. You got you one, or you got more than stuff, one? Or? One, but I would like to have a, a lot more. Yeah. Every kind, every kind. You don't do like crazy tricks. I see people doing some wild shit online, like like popping wheelies and standing on the handlebars and like crazy ass <laughs> shit. You don't do that. No, I'm I'm not there yet, but I would like, but. Uh, I don't want to be injured and uh, they can they don't train. I want to stay uh, smart too. Yeah, I can't you don't, believe people do that shit. You don't want to get shut down by the boss. The way they remember Donald Cerrone for the UFC back in the day. Dana White used to have a freaking heart attack every single time because yes, you know two days <laughs> two days before the fight he's like uh, you know dirt bike riding dirt bike riding and jumping out of airplanes <laughs> and shit. You don't want to get on. You don't want Mr. Feldman to uh, put the clamps on your, your side no. eye. Yeah. No. So, so, John, you have a really great opportunity here. We talked about yeah. it at the beginning. You are the main event in the first event in your home country of Canada. Um, it's the first BKFC event in Canada. You're the first main event there. That's got to feel pretty good. And it's an opportunity for you to really like thrust yourself into a title conversation with uh, Miss Fit Berea. Talk a little bit about this opportunity and how important this fight is to you in your career. Uh, for sure. Yeah, it's really a big fight. Uh, first, because they come for the first time, they're on a call. So, uh, I have a lot to prove, I think, but I don't want to put say, too much pressure on no, uh, too, uh, because it's my country, country, home country. But um, no, I just uh, I feel I feel really good. I'm really proud to be uh, the main event, and exactly, I'm I'm doing everything I have to do. Uh, I really had the good preparation and everything, so 
uh, if everything is good, like I think, uh, it will be good after, uh, yes, I know Miss Fit uh, uh, on the social media, she's writing uh, to me uh, often in the last uh, time. So we're gonna see, but uh, the logic uh, should be that after this fight, if everything is good. Yeah, she she came on here mm -hmm. I think a week ago and said that um she has intentions to go to 135 and try to, you know, dominate that division as well, but she said she absolutely would love to fight you mm -hmm. if you win the if you win over Gabby, she wants you. If Gabby wins, she's not interested because Gabby's mm -hmm. brand new. So it, it's a weird dynamic there when it comes to the two of you and Misfit. Like she's not yes. she's, she's not interested in your opponent. That's for sure. Yes, but I, I I want to fight Misfit too. I I really want, and I think if we could fight before the end of the, this year, uh, for me it's the plan. It's the plan, and I want I want this fight too. But now I'm focused on the fight next week, and after I could talk uh, about that. But uh, I think it's it's really logic to do this. Well, talk about your opponent, Gabby Roman. She um she busted onto the scene last year and uh, fought a girl that was significantly bigger than her on a couple days' notice when she fought Courtney Cameron. That was impressive. That impressed everybody. And then she was the one that uh, took the Martina Kroll fight, so you got to respect her for that one as well. She ended up the year 1-0-1 and, and um, kind of like won over the fan base. What are your thoughts on her, her technique, and the, her performances in those two fights? Uh, I think she has guts and she's really a good fighter. She's technically and she's fast uh, uh, and to, because she's smaller than the other. And um, yes, I think uh, she has really good skill and uh, she's smart. So uh, our fight will be a good fight to prove our skills. And um, it's going to be a... The fighting IQ too, uh, footwork. Uh, so yes, uh, she, I, I have a really good fighter. I will have a really good fighter in front of me next week for sure. Um, mm -hmm. This will be the first time that you've stepped into the BKFC ring as the bigger girl, right? This is a yes, exactly. Yeah, you've yeah. always been, you've always been the smaller fighter in your first three fights. Yes. Uh, Going to be a little yes. a, a little advantage that you're you haven't been used to so far since you've been telling the line. Yes, exactly. And uh, even in the fight before BKFC and everything, I, I'm always the smaller girl. So uh, I'm going to use that uh, too. I work it with that. Uh, but I'm prepared, I'm prepared for everything. Uh, she's a Southpaw too. Uh, so there's many things I work it differently for this, uh, for this training camp. But um, it, I learned it good. It, I, Sorry for sorry for my English. I'm okay. working. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So yeah. So uh, that's it. Uh, it's gonna be good. So Miami wasn't doing it for you. You went back home. You went to Montreal. Yes. You're staying there for for yes. good. Are you going back ever again? Is it forever uh, <laughs> back in Montreal or? Uh, now since I did my training camp against Terror. Uh, in Montreal, uh, it was my best uh, training camp, and for sure, t I tried last two uh, years. Uh, in the winter, I tried to stay there in Florida and everything, but I see it. It was not easy because I had no reference and the language too. Uh, I speak French, uh, uh, so in Montreal, it's really more easy. I understand fast. I see my improvement. Uh, my Gym, my boxing gym is in the same building than the my conditioning gym. So, and the the team is really uh, they are used to work with the professional. Like uh, they had many professional boxer there. So, the structure is really good. So I I will stay for sure. Uh, I will do my next training camp there too. For me, it's really good. I would I would imagine the language barrier is a big part of uh like it, it, your home in Montreal. Everybody understands you. You understand everybody, and you probably have a lot more familiar faces that you're you're comfortable around. And then when you find yourself in a place like Miami, Miami's amazing. There's so much shit to do, and it's probably harder to focus 
when mm -hmm. people around you can't really speak your language and you don't really know too many people around, right? Yes, but I want I want that adventure. Like here in Montreal, it's not me normally. I live in Quebec City. It's three hours from uh, Montreal. So yeah. yeah, so I knew some people, but like when I was in Miami, my focus is really on training. So I don't I don't go in the bar. Like even in restaurant, I'm on a diet, so I don't really go uh, in the restaurant uh, so um, everything is focused on that uh, for sure it Miami is nice because I can do motorcycle every day and here it's not it's not that oh, but right. uh, <laughs> that's the worst part but uh, for for the rest for my improvement and I think in it's time now it's not the the career are short so it's time now to give everything and uh, and go so that's why I did this choice for now. It's like that. How much of a pain in the ass is it to be back in the cold? Like you just said, you can't go out every day. <laughs> uh, we live in the North too. We live in, Ro I live in Rhode Island. He lives in Connecticut. It's cold here. I was just saying it today. I had to walk like 40 feet to another uh, building at work. And I was like, why do we have to go outside to go to another office? Yes. I don't like yes. What, what I'm doing here. Why my parents uh, were living here. <laughs> I'm 40 and I still can't get myself out yes. of this state. What is going on here? What is wrong? Oh, I hate I <laughs> I hate that, but uh, my focus I I put the code on the site and I focus on the what yeah. I have to do. Yeah. You got it. You got it cuz that code will get you. Yeah, oh, yes, but I I was not happy. I was not happy. But it's temporary, so okay. and after after this fight uh for all the month of april i will go to florida and uh, in the united states do a motorcycle so it's gonna be a vacation nice, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well in april there's also uh you might want to venture over to los angeles california while you're at it, while you're on your vacation because there's the uh, knuckle mania 4 event going on could we see you uh, we always like, we always wonder if, if fighters, um, there's, there's certain fighters, Lorenzo Hunt, Kai Stewart, uh, HD Davis has been doing it a lot. Keith Richardson has been doing it a lot. They're getting more and more and more popular with the, with the, with the BKFC fan base by showing up to events that they're not fighting on. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, do you ever, uh, consider like taking off and go into any of these events? Like if they were to announce like misfit fighting at knuckle mania four, are you going to be there in the audience to see that one live? I didn't talk about that, but, uh, for sure. I would like, uh, if I could do at every event, I would do it. But, uh, the thing is that I'm driving from Canada. So yeah. to go to California, I did one time in my life, but, uh, it's a long ride, so. You're but fly. maybe I don't know. Yes, no, but. <laughs> yeah, fly. Yeah, fly, fly. You know, here's the thing. You know, it's. I feel like it's. It's really good. Say you go there, free of fights, and uh, we don't know who she's fighting. So I'm gonna just say this, and hopefully we not don't even know if she's fighting on she's that. Probably got to win, right? So here's the thing. She wins her fight. They show her face, mm -hmm. and then they go to the crowd, and they show you standing oh, up yeah. like me. I'm next. Yeah. Now, that <laughs> oh, yeah. one or two seconds could be very important for your career. Yes, right? yes, that's true. Yes, yes. I, I will. I will do it. <laughs> that, that very important. However, yeah, yeah. Also, in April, there is a Tampa card. There's a Tampa card oh. April 12th. So if you're going to be in Florida, Tampa April, card, okay. And what is the date uh, for the Knuckle Mania? And, uh... Uh, 12. April 12. Uh, for Knuckle Mania or the Tampa card? Uh, both. So for for the Tampa card, it will be on the 12th of April. And so that's a fight night. So it's BKFC fight night, Tampa, April 12th. And then Knuckle Mania 4, Los Angeles, is April 27th. Okay. Okay, good. Yep. So good. you can try. You can you can plan out your vacation off of that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No. But exactly. Exactly. I I'm gonna set set it up and uh, I'm gonna see what I can do. But I would like. All right. So we before we get ahead of ourselves here, before we let you go, um, 
We need to talk about the outcome of this fight. People want to ask, people always asking in the comments, like, how do you feel like we're not asking you for predictions, but what could we expect between you and Gabby on uh, March 2nd in Edmonton? Uh, are you thinking that this goes uh, five rounds with a scrappy uh, little Gabby Roman or um, how do you see it playing out a little bit? Uh, I see it's going to be a really technical fight. And um, I think there is going to be moment. Yes, we're going to both uh, like uh, go forward each and put pressure, but uh, we will be smart and um, it's a good, it's gonna be a good war, uh, and for sure, me, I, I will put I will put pressure and put power, but it's gonna be fast. So they don't blink because both we are fast, and uh, that's how I see the fight. I I wanna, see this like that. I want to ask you this: when when you heard that they were putting together a Canada card, you you did you ask to get on it or did you just figure that the phone call was going to come at some point mm. and they were going to ask you, is that something that you seeked out? Uh, and, and before that, I wanted to fight February two in uh, Miami. I yeah. wanted to fight against, I wanted my revenge against, against Christine Vicente. But uh, yes, that me, what I wanted was that. And after uh, if everything was good, the fight again, uh, Christine Ferreira. So, um, but finally they told me the fight with Vicence will not happen. So I, I just had the call like uh, maybe two weeks after that uh, they they were going to come to Canada and uh, I will be on this card. But and, and did you know your opponent when they called you, or did they said we're finding you an opponent and you didn't really care who that opponent was at that point? Yes, the. Uh, they, they give me, they tell, told me one name, but it wasn't working. And after, they give me one or two names. And uh, finally, uh, it was uh, Gabriel. But oh. at this point, I oh. just wanted to. So Gabriel wasn't the first name that was brought to you. It was, there was a couple uh, no. and those, th those two fell through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, but you got to give that happy moment. You got to give your opponent some credit. She's got some balls, for lack yes, of better yes. better terms. She's not like she does not turn down a challenge. No, the, yeah. The cook, yeah, no, the she's not scared. She's yeah. not scared. I'm not scared. That's why it's gonna be really. Uh, I think it's gonna be really uh, hard fight for both. What's funny is like you say she's not scared, but in that little four minute video that the BKFC made with you and her on yeah. the app, she's <laughs> like, I live, I live my life scared. I'm scared all the time. <laughs> yes, so but she's not scared in the rain, so that's the important. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really a it's really a fun uh, way of life with, with Gabby Roman. It's really great. But uh mm -hmm. she is a tough opponent and she does mm -hmm. step up and that's cool to yeah. hear. I did I didn't know that. Um we're looking forward to this one. Um we're going to let you say a few things to anybody who wants to listen first. But, uh, Mike, do you have anything before we do that, before we let her give her shout-outs? No, no, please give your shout-outs. And then once you give your shout-outs, we got Jeremiah Riggs coming up next. Everybody knows Jeremiah Riggs. He's going to be on the card with you. So, man, that's going to be a good – it's going to be a good card. I can't wait to see you guys both in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. so so go ahead. You got anybody you want to shout out or any final shoot words out. you want to say? You got the champ. Hey, by the way, you got the champ. Misfit is in the in the comments right now watching. So shoot. you have her attention. So anything you want to <laughs> yes. say, go ahead and say. Christine, I want to see you soon. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, but uh, shout out to my sponsor. Uh, Century 21, Urgence, Barricadage, Perfect Sport, Onifan, Autobus OG, Pursa Vodka, Entrepôt Modulo, and um, that's it for now. Come to see my fight, it's going to be a big war. Oh, that is great, and thank you for your shout outs. But we have something that was donated to us <laughs> yes. from the Extreme BKFC fans page. Yes, it Are is. Are you familiar with those guys, Russ and Country, the BK, the Extreme BKFC fans page? No, no. They're the big. They're the big guys that show up to all the events that have like coolers yeah. of water for everybody at the at the weigh-ins, and they buy food for everyone, and they oh, do yeah. all this crazy shit, and they give away 
autographed stuff and signed posters and all this stuff. And they have a 24 inch by 36 inch poster yes. that they want us to give away. And it's of you and a, and a former opponent of yourself. <laughs> I want to show you this. Like, oh, I know. A picture this. Yeah. This, this picture. You have the question, Kyle? It's a, I do have a, I do have the question. All right. So, you ready? Yep. Here Here's is. The, this is the poster, Jade. Look at that. We're <laughs> giving this away. <laughs> yep. There we go. And this, this, yes. <laughs> and, yo, check this question out. What Hollywood ginger played the leading role in the movie Jade in 1995? There's a double, there's a double N in, in, but. This is a tough one, guys. Anybody who watches movies, you can have this giant poster in yep. your house. What Hollywood <laughs> ginger? Who knows what, the answer to that question? What Hollywood ginger played the leading role in the movie Jade in 1995? So anybody who gives me that answer uh, right now. If Falcon was the first one in oh there. Oh, my we'll God. There it is. We got the answer right away. Jad, did you know that there was a movie called that in 1995? Mm-hmm. Well, no. a guy, a fella by the name of David Caruso, <laughs> who got very famous from NYPD Blue in the 90s, <laughs> he was the lead role in that trash ass movie. Uh, you are much cooler than that movie, but that poster's going to Falcon 09, and we are proud to give it to him. Thank you so much for coming on the That's show. Funny. Yep. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks to you. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Fantastic poster. And uh, March 2nd, everybody, Edmund, Edmonton, Canada. Make sure you're tuned in. You get the app. You get Fubo. You get whatever you can to see this one because this main event is going to be fire. Gabby Roman and Jad Masan Wong. Thank you so much for coming on. Mike, do you have anything else for her? Thank you for coming on, Jad. Can't wait to see your fight. If I had my passport, maybe we could go there, but I'm an idiot and I don't have it. So, boo, boo on <laughs> Next me. time. But next next time. time. Next time. And I'll show you how to do them crazy tricks on the motorcycle because I'm pretty good at motorcycles. I'm pretty good at <laughs> everything that I do. So, like, I'm great. With motorcycles. Yeah, I'm totally lying. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. Okay, good. Can't wait for your fight. <laughs> Thank you for coming on. Everybody that's watching, stay tuned. Jeremiah Riggs is coming up next. See you, Jason. Thank you. Hey, it's your boy, Jeremiah Big Rig Rig, the toughest son of a bitch in BKFC, and you're watching The Mike and Miss Show. God damn right. Look at this guy. <laughs> big What's Rig up? is driving a big rig. Are you driving a big rig right now? Or are you no, like- no. No, I actually, uh, I'm just I'm just in the in the car. I mean, we've been having... Um, I don't know, some the uh, AT&T, whatever, some service was knocked down some kind of way today. So I, was, I text Kyle a while ago, and I was like, man, I'm troubling, having a little trouble finding a hot spot. So I was just, I'm just coming up the road from where we were at just to get a better better connection. Uh, so that way it ain't all, um, I was messing with it earlier where we were where we were at and i was like well i i can get on down the road here a little bit better and it and it'll pick up better service so i was like man ain't no way i'm i'm gonna just be sitting still and let and, and miss that so what's up well, guys hey, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you jeremiah you have a perfect connection right now so that yeah. that's that's good where whatever you're doing just keep on doing it i'm keeping really- trucking man like like the movie <laughs> speed if you're going over 40 miles an hour you can't go under 40 miles an hour. you have to stay that forever <laughs> yeah I, I, well, in this, in, <laughs> yeah in this in this these motherfuckers out here that that's i uh, can be on man I, i'd probably blow the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey man, man. You have your seats. What's going on in the back? Is that are there boxes? Oh, they're boxes. At first, I thought that you had your seat wrapped like the grand, like my grandma used to wrap. wrap the <laughs> oh yeah, with the like the little- like the plastic on the seat, so you don't get nothing on the couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my I, I I I grew up around that era too. Grandma used to be the same way, yeah. man. You ain't making out with a girl on grandma's couch. She'll hear that shit from. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Wicker, 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 wicker. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on down there? 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, hey. So what's up? Yo, welcome back. Jeroy, you've been out for a goddamn minute. It's been a I... long time since you've been in there. And everybody knows you for the tough tough guy that you are and the, and the fighter that you are. You're coming off... You 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 came off like a classic short notice fight with uh, Connor Connor Turney, and then your very next opponent was no slouch. You went ahead and took a top fiver and Billy Wagner, and you had an unfortunate, you know, injury with the knee. Tell us a little bit about the uh, the injury and the recovery, and and um, how you feeling now that it's it's rebuilt and everything's back to normal. Yeah, man, going back, going back to that, you know, there was a lot of questions that came to play um, with with that injury. Um, <clears throat> you know, some people were just asking, you know, kind of like, was it was it a bad weight cut or, or nothing like that? No, man, it really wasn't. And, and, and honestly, you know, um, I'm you know how fighters can be. You know, sometimes it is hard fighting 100 percent. Right. So, um, man. I had not had no previous injuries, no nothing from training camps, you know, no bad, uh, no no tweaks, no 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 uh, no nothing. I mean, I, I really, um, honestly, and even as far as like you, you know the weight cut goes, man, I, I really had a really really nice uh, good weight cut. Um, it, it was not struggled, uh, you know. Of course, now that was my first, uh, my first. Um, my first my first uh time going down to that that 165 you know what i'm saying so um i i, I everything really everything really panned out panned out really good for that um it, it just it was just kind of one of them them fluke things um man i, I mean you, you I, that was know. probably yeah I, mean, I watched the video on, on when that injury happened and it was just like damn man it just it just it just popped. I really but don't know how to explain. Everybody it. that knows you, everyone that knows you, you haven't lived the softest life. You know what I mean? Like you could have been. Was it the ACL? Was it the, what was it? Actually, man, it was it was ACL. Um, it pretty much got a lot a lot of it. I mean, I, I got the ACL, um, MCL. Um, they it 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 got it, it got it. I mean, it, and it and my 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 ACL. Man, ACL, it it was it, it was gone. So what I'm saying is, were you airborne when you were in? Uh, when the, oh yeah, you, I was Ranger, first Ranger so, back. Yeah, yeah. So you were Ranger, like like my brother was a was a Ranger as well, and and he um he had like over 150 jumps or some shit like that. So it's like you never know how how much damage you were actually doing to yourself over the years between jumping out of airplanes, riding bulls, fighting MMA, doing WWE shit. And, and like, you haven't exactly took it easy on yourself. You know what I mean? So that ACL might've been just teetering on the edge of pop in for a while. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, I had a, a lot of people that don't know, um, you know, I had an eight year, eight year layout of, of com combat sports. You know, I'd been riding bulls th that, that, that time in between, uh, still training, but not, not training to fight, you know, just different kind of, different kind of style of stuff. So, um, and, and that's hard, man. I'm not going to lie. That's probably one of the hardest, uh, physical sports or, or, th or even mental things that I, I've, I've probably endured, um, um, was professional bull riding. Um, I, I give, a lot of credibility to that to that game and that sport of where I'm at now, um, um, in 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 the, in bare knuckle, um, especially on just on the mental side. You know, I mean, just uh, that was just a whole a whole another deal of, of 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 just finding yourself, man. Um, it 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 really was. So, um, you know, I, and I and that was something that I that I did take notice of. But as far as as far as this this that sport goes, oh man, yeah, it's brutal. I mean, it that's like taking, I mean, a fuck. I mean, it's like doing a, a probably every kind of fighting and and all wrapped in one. Even and people say, man, it's just eight seconds, but it's it's way it's way beyond that. Uh, I mean, you're talking you're talking. Um, Every weekend, every week, 
I mean, I was there. I mean, fuck every month, uh, getting on probably 50, 50 bulls or, or plus. I mean, I wasn't nothing to get on. Um, it wasn't nothing to get on five, five, six, six bulls a week, especially training, um, uh, in the, in the training, uh, platform of it. I mean, it, it was, it was just constant. So, uh, and then getting back into the training uh, side, like I said, um, just probably wrapped up in the whole big picture. Um, it, 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 it probably had, um, it's, it's play. It, it played its role. I would say for sure on, on, on what, on what happened. Um, but I, like I said, unfortunately, it really wasn't anything that, um, that I felt like it wasn't nothing that, that I would say that, oh man, you know, uh, you're not going to hear me cause it, it really wasn't. It's nothing that I was like, Hey guys, you know, oh, well, you know, I had a tweak in my knee before. No, I mean, honestly, if I really would even known, I mean, I would have, I would have done the measurements to, uh, to, to, to put on a brace or, or, or done something like that. But I mean, I was, I'm, it's almost surprisingly even looking back at it, like, damn, I'm surprised the son of a bitch didn't pop in the back doing the warm ups. Right. Right. It's crazy hey, how shit like that happens. Hey, Jeremiah, yeah, but, uh, yeah. just a quick, quick Google search here. Do you know that, um, you have professionally competed in, three of the top 11 most dangerous sports in the world and if i if i went through this number six is boxing number eight is mma and number 11 is bull riding so uh yeah yeah you're a fucking yeah lunatic. <laughs> yeah um <laughs> and number yeah, one and is not, driving your car talking to mike and mish mike and mish i'm stopped i'm stopped though right. yeah so <laughs> no but um <laughs> yeah no I, I realize that um and even even going back into the um I realized what the, the yeah Ranger and, and even well, being with the WWE, I'm pretty sure that's that's that plays a toll on the body itself. Uh, oh, yeah. I understand that the things that I've done uh, that I'm probably in a really one percentile, or if I don't really know anybody that's competed on the mainstream levels of of NMMA, UFC, Strike Force, Bellator, uh, professional bull riding, professional wrestling, uh, the being at one of the top uh, military uh, you know, rangers. Um, there's really not anything that I, I would say that um, probably one professional athlete has, has done. Um, but going back into that, man, I can remember when I was a kid uh, growing up, you know, dad is going – doing everything, you know, kind of like, what do you want to be, man? I just kind of wanted, in, in, in the whole grand scene, I just, I just wanted to be a professional athlete. And then honestly, I just I was like, man, I just want to be a badass. You know, I just want to do, take f life full fledged and, and, and just kind of let it, let it, let, let the ride be the ride and, and do as much as I could. Uh, and then just so happens, looking back, I do realize I'm like, man, I have really done all just Every, every, every all of it and, and and even been with um i mean and every thing that i've done i've been around the world champions i've trained with them i've learned from them they've learned from me you know vice versa so i've uh, i really do uh humbly re respect that and I, I do understand you know sometimes i pat myself on the back and say damn man you know you've, you've done it all yeah and dj tony is in the comments just called you the Dion sanders of country living <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just need my prime shades on, oh, man. <laughs> man. Hey, hey, we have a question from the audience, and I believe the answer, you didn't have a gimmick in pro wrestling, right? You were competing on Tough Enough, and then you competed, I mean, you were part of like Florida something wrestling, right? Yeah. So I went to the developmental center right after, you know, right after that. So, um, no, there was really, really no gimmick for me. Honestly, it was you know, I, I, I pictures, you know, I'm the realest, I'm the realest son of a bitch you're going to talk to or see, uh, you know, I didn't have to make up no character. You know, I, I believe I was a character in itself. Uh, I don't say, unfortunately it, it played, I mean, it, it is what it was. And, and I, you know, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna sell myself short and uh, nothing like towards that, that deal. But, um, you know, um, it was, it's a, it's a diff. that's a whole diff. man. That's a whole different fucking, 
uh, sport, whole different uh, lifestyle. I learned a lot from that, but um, I just couldn't. I just wasn't. I didn't want a gimmick. You know, I didn't want to be um, the same as same guys that that were around me. I can remember, you know, even being in that office of saying, "Why, why do you want to be here?" And my answer typically was, "Them guys, like, I don't want to be here." And but and then they kind of t- had the head turn and said, "Well, not." not legitimately like i'm not not saying i don't want to be here but i don't want to be here i want to be on the show i want to be on raw you know that that was my whole deal but i understand you know there you you go through them stages but um that that's kind of where my mindset was i mean it's always been that way of i mean if you're gonna do it you know but then again i also knew there it is that's when i was about 210 though (laughs) a lot of people don't yeah yeah I was That's on a whole great. nother weight class in, you know, uh, and, and, and like that lifestyle, we're going to talk about your fight coming up in a minute, but that lifestyle is not an easy one. And you see all these nightmare no. stories about the life on the road for a pro wrestler. And like, if oh, you yeah. go on to Netflix right now and look up a series called wrestlers and it follows Al snow in OVW, the o- Ohio Valley wrestling. Yep. That living is not easy. Those guys grind every fucking day. They're on the road. So, all it's it's really crazy, and they're doing it for very little little money until you make it to the big show. Yeah, until you make it to the big show. Yeah, I mean, you know, so I mean, everybody's getting paid. But I'll tell you this: um, one of the things that people ask me was like, "Oh man, that you know, it's fake or whatever." And it's like, no, bro. Like, let me tell you something. Like, I, I, I'm a, I will clear this totally up across across the board that is very 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 physical i mean it is totally a physical sport whatever might be made up as far as the drama and the gimmick you know whatever the the, the storylines basically oh and 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 it's real yeah it's very much like you're saying there's some improv in it sure for sure yeah and 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 people don't know um the moves the moves in professional wrestling are actually are actually real moves i mean you know uh they do you know they do i mean arm bars and and, and stuff like that i mean clo- you know all that they're they're actually like real real moves uh and i promise you if you do you know bump they call it you know taking the bump you don't do that properly it hurts bro yeah. i've I was a member on the show, man. I mean, I I battled with um, like a strained groin. I mean, uh, uh, bruised ribs, bruised lung. I mean, I I was coughing up blood before on the show. The show and fucking the goes, goes on. on. You go just gotta you know, fucking suck it up and, and 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 beat on that rope one more time. Them cables. I mean, you're bouncing off a off of a one and a half, two inch steel cable that's just wrapped on pretty much electric tape. And and yeah. and, and you now your body takes your body takes a beat. Now you get used to it over a period of time. But I could remember. Well, I think it was that we ended up because I, I finished the whole show. I mean, it, you know, a lot of people don't realize it was top three um in in that but i mean it was brutally every day bump bam boom um and 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 for guys that didn't that wasn't aware of of the physical part of that man it it's it it took a toll i can remember coming off that show we go home uh, me and my brother were at the gym. Like I said, you know, I was still trying to keep my 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 weight regimen up, and uh, literally, we're going to do the leg workout, one thirty five, just just straight up warm up. I get it on, I go down like one time. I get up, I rack it, and I go, I'm done. And he's like, What? And I was like, Mm-mm. I, I mean, my knees. I mean, it, it was so weird just on that little bit of time flying home. I was just trying to keep keep my body up, and and then my body was kind of like, ah, like no, no. I mean, I really had to take a a, a pretty a, a little good little rest after that. Like, man, this this was brutal. Um, and, and knowing that, I mean, it, it gave me a whole nother outlook on like, man, you know, people people don't really like, you know, it it, it looks it's off show or, or whatever you know you right. want to call it but them guys take I ask a something. beating yeah I, my I, my I, nine-year-old son is so into pro wrestling right now 
And then I'm in the kitchen the other day, and I love I love the innocence of a of a kid. I loved pro wrestling growing up, and yeah, I, me too. you know what I mean. I believed in it, and I I was a Hulk. I mean, I'm fucking wearing a Macho Man Randy Savage shirt. Yeah, right no, yeah, uh, yeah. So like, he's been into it, and we got we subscribed to Peacock because if you subscribe to Peacock right now, I mean, like guys, I'm not trying to sell this shit for five ninety nine a month. You get the entire fucking WWE library. So if you have a kid that's into it, spend the right. fucking six bucks a month and let him watch. But he comes up to me in the kitchen. I'm cooking dinner the other day, and he's like, "Hey, Dad, is WWE fake?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Why are you asking?" I'm like, "Why are you asking me that?" He goes. Somebody told me it's fake, but it can't be fake. He doesn't it do, like those guys are really slamming each other. I'm like, well, dude, here's the thing. And I didn't really know how to answer this. And maybe like someone that's been in the life can like tell me a better way to answer. I said, some of the outcomes are, are already set up, but how they get there is all real. That's what I told. Yeah. Them. I, no, I said they, you're... they know, they know who should be the winner of certain matches, but up until it, it, that but winter. now, yeah. and 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 it can change. And here's how: just a little bit behind the deal, it it it, it can change. At a, I mean, and when I tell you at that quick, I mean like middle of the mat, middle of you doing your set Due to or the crowd whatever reactions and how things are it's going. Gone. I mean, someone can just totally. It just changes or for whatever reason, and and then sometimes it, it works out, I'd say, good for the person, and then sometimes, you know, because, it, it, you know, you have a you have a heel and, and you know, good guy, bad guy, let's just say that, yep. and, 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 yep. and, and, and in that turn or that flip, uh, it, 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 it's almost – it's almost kind of a, a gamble, you know, you're rolling the dice, but um, very calculated, I, I would say. I mean, there, there's ways. I mean, these, I mean, of course, it ain't been going on that damn long and, yeah. and it not be great. But no, the, the, the road to that, oh, yeah, brutal. For well, sure. That's what, I, that's what I told them. That's what I told them, like, just to keep the keep the love alive in him because he really does like it. And I'm like, I no, it's really, not. Yeah. It, I wouldn't tell totally like these guys fake. beat the living shit out of each other, dude. Go it's look, great. go ask Dave. You remember old Dave Schultz, go ask him if wrestling's fake. You get slapped yeah, upside the punch fucking right head. Your <laughs> yeah. What I was yeah. going to bring up was the movie that I haven't seen this movie yet. And, and let me a uh, little shout out to uh, DJ Tony. He said the movie wrestler is a classic. That's a great movie. No, There's yeah. Another movie that came out it. that I can't wait to see. Have you seen, this movie iron claw have you no seen the movie the no iron no claw about the von I, Erich? That so i said insane. um i can't wait to see that movie is i that was waiting on that i was waiting on that movie um i've been taking uh you know uh, uh just quick uh i moved you know chevy bridges you know that's that's it's yes, almost kind of like been my son now. Too, yeah because. so um I, I I've introduced like, hey man, you know we we go go out movie and and we were talking and I was like, hey bro, we, we when this fucking movie comes out, we're gonna go watch this this Iron Claw movie, um because I was very very interested in it and um, bad, I watched yeah it, oh no yeah and well I think a a dub uh, a and e or you know the yeah, like a the history chart a and e oh, you know they have a and e they, yeah. they have a series it was playing just this past week here they have a series of documentaries of like hulk hogan and the yes. nwo and yep. and uh i want to go they had uh, goldberg on uh the other night and nwo because i, I sat there and McMahon i was like versus uh steve austin uh, yeah I, I mean so if you I don't know. I'm pretty sure you could get it on Netflix or, or whatever. They have a whole series out of of all these guys, and if you really watch them, you know some of them. Some of the stories are kind of like, mm, you know, it's, it's, it's you know sad or the way the some of the guys turned out. But I mean, that's just the sacrifices of 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 of. It's just the sacrifices of, of the person and the sacrifices of the sport uh, yeah. of what people really give all to uh, to do to follow their dreams to follow the uh, the follow the the, the sport or, or whatever their their the path follow their journey on whatever they seek out to be you know yeah it, it, if people don't know what we're talking about there is a movie that came out called the Iron Claw it's a it's a bio, biographical sports drama right and it's about brothers or a family rather a the professional wrestler uh, wrestlers called yeah the von Erics right and they're like a cursed family 
uh, cursed by constant tragedy. And basically it shows the struggles of the wrestling company owner, Fritz von Erich, who's the fa uh, father and father. Yeah. And so, they was hard. That, that father was hell on wheels. Like they the he was no is, mercy. They're all dead pretty much. Uh, I, one, yeah, I don't, I've one, never, is, alive. is there, see, I didn't know, I don't really know the whole, whole deal, yeah, oh, yeah. suit drugs, alcohol, yep. you know, Wild. just, just a lot of different things of depression, you know, they just get people, I mean, and people that just still happens today, I mean, even, right. and even there was even like, there was a now. motorcycle, there was a motorcycle accident, there was a suicide, there was, yep. all, all, it's like all a crazy, crazy story. The family yeah. like yeah. is cursed. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm waiting to watch that myself for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yep. So, we'll put that on your list, everybody. Put that on your list. You even if you're up, not a wrestling fan, you know, right. it's, it's going to probably be very a interesting. Movie. Oh, ain't no we, doubt. Let's talk about be, let's talk about bare knuckle fighting. You you mentioned yeah. somebody's name. Now let's talk about you and your team and the people that you have surrounded yourself with and what you've been doing with yourself. Like we all know that you and and Alan Belcher or you guys are all training in the same uh, same gyms together, but. You mentioned Chevy Bridges. You brought him in. You took him under your wing, kind of as a father figure, almost. Um, talk a little bit about the dynamic of the team around you, how you stay prepared in this sport, and uh, what what you think Chevy's getting out of this. A direction, um, a sense of a sense of direction is my biggest thing of life. Um, you know the real, true meanings of of things that that. Um, you know the sacrifices i mean on you know that the sacrifices made to just do the little things in, in life that that um that some people don't really realize in the bigger pictures on you know, finding your, your true meaning of self whether no matter uh what it is and, and in realizing like hey you know um just just say even being around you know the having a, a nice car or just hey you know living in this house doing this it's like hey man you know that's it's kind of like blinders man you know people don't realize it's like dude i mean i'm i'm, I'm 41 but uh i don't want to say it took me 41 years you know that's just retarded but it's literally been um i mean since i was competing uh at t-ball of six seven years old but just say i've been you know, I've been working shit. I've been working since I was 13 years old. Uh, so just in the over 20 years of, of ups and downs and ins and outs sacrifice, I mean, missing, I mean, you know, it, it's the sense of direction uh, of the hustle and, and, and the better, the, the better yourself as a person, uh, and finding your true meaning. Uh, man, that, that's, that's, it's really tough. Um, uh, People grow up in, in all these different aspects. I've been around it all, man. You know, uh, there's really no, there's, you don't owe anybody no, no explanations on, on what you, where you've been, what you've done. Uh, but just bringing that in, you know, it was, um, you got to have trust, man. You know, I didn't, there's a lot of things I've done, uh, sometimes even helping that just, you know, uh, in a, in a selfless way where you know, I've seen the other side, you know, uh, some people keeping score, man, there ain't no score count in life, man. If you are, you just, some kind of can just be a, a, a bag of shit in my, in my, in my eyes. Um, you know, in the range of battalion, learn, you know, be, you know, it's kind of like being a buddy fucker, man. You know, you know, what you put yourself around and what you do dictates others. You know, you are a product of your environment. You, um, at some form and fashion, you know, the eyes are on you. You, um, it's just like for an example, like even me being here, uh, you know, we're just training at a new gym, right? And 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 I represent, I'm I'm represent myself, but everybody knows I'm here with Belcher. So, you know, you got to take on a bigger responsibility than just thinking about yourself. Um, and, and it's just like me being around there is like, you know, uh, Hey man, you know, I'm, I'm over here cleaning the gym every, after every practice I was picking up my hey guys, what can I do to help? Uh, it's a reflection of who you're around. You know, it's, right. it's some people might be look at like, who is this guy? But they know it's not who that that's, that's Alan Belcher's boy. That yeah. he's there with you. But, so, and you, you also, you, you have a, a, a wealth of experience in like the people that you've trained with in the past, not just with Belcher now and, and the guys around you now, but like we know about you and Robbie Lawler and, and like yeah. legends in the game. You have trained with legends in the game. And we saw the difference in Chevy in his last fight. Yep. He looked great in he it. Did. And we talked to you at that event 
and it didn't go his way, but it was almost like a mirror image between one round to the other with him and his opponent. It was really, it was really crazy. Um, so that that was a point he where he was basically winning until that. No, happened. and and it, there was no loss. See, that was the thing. Right. There was no loss in that because in the bigger picture, where everybody looks, you are looking at a fucking record, man. You you, you got to look at where this person is to where this person is now. Um, yeah. there are so many in my circle. Uh, and, and let me tell you something, man. That was hard. Uh, you, you have people, even in my clan, that um, I mean, and I'm not saying. I mean, no. I mean, I'm just telling the truth, man. It was a lot. It would you. We had to dig really deep, but I never give up, even when others kind of did on on the occasion because now you're taking somebody where you're physically training well that goes with more than just being here for a fight now you're dealing with a personal a personal level and in coaching you deal with that um i mean this was probably the first time i've coached um in that realm of having someone like say super like say now you're really involved with this person and in the past now you got to deal with the emotions you got to deal with this you got to deal with you know um money struggles i mean just the whole the coming of you know um personal personal uh fact of my you know uh, your dad's a piece of shit your mom ain't around you know people uh, of 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 if in just say in his life that that failed him but and i i mean when i tell you you had to go to the depths i mean it was and and, and shaving them know this like i'm very very true to what i say i mean i it's almost like being a drill sergeant I, i've done this because um it's a form of discipline um so you know that that being said um, I mean, it, it was a whole bunch of stuff, but it, it even taught me a lot. Um, and, and, and but but I also I also knew this. I believed I believed in him. I believed in what we're doing. And I just saw something that he didn't see and other people wasn't didn't take the time to to see if that makes sense. You know, mm -hmm. uh, it was more than just it was more than just training for a fight man we were training for a whole nother life experience a whole nother realm of of uh because to me it was like it don't matter it didn't matter about where we were going if we got a fight or not we're going to train but it was dictating um, a, a career in life of mm -hmm. of of a pursuit a pursuit of of a better better belonging and understanding all these things that were just say talk totally right. wrong um and, and then he, going into that fight huh he and he's like when he moved down there with you was the intent to live down there and like start a whole new life because he he seems like he's living a different life he's training different with different people around him but he also joined the fire department he's like yes he's doing other things now was that the intention or was the was the original intention to go down there and train with you guys and get a new experience with you guys but he kind of like fell in love with the area and, and the team aspect and and stayed. so real story um a year prior, a year prior to this, um, then we're going we're going back now. So a year prior to this, you know, when I first met met Chevy, I knew Chevy was. I watched him. I was like, oh, you know, you know, kind of, you know, going through the fights and all that. Uh, we we met at the uh, in Monroe at the at the Quentin Henry deal, you know. So um, we just kind of really clicked, and um, I just I kind of threw a, a the offer. It's like, hey man, you know, anytime you want to train. You know, I have these businesses. Uh, I do like landscape or, you know, I, I cattle and all this other stuff. I was like, man, we always, you know, finding help this is hard. And I was like, if you're willing to put in work, dude, you, you know, here's a job and stuff like that. And so it didn't really just say right then, you know, it didn't pan and, um, and they're not throwing in business, but we got a phone, got a phone call, answered the phone call. And this is how it really happened. This was like literally probably like on a, wednesday thursday or something like that hey man what's up you know it's like hey um just saying what's your week because he said hey did that offer you know is that does that still stand 
And um, I was kind of like, well, what, what's up, man? You know, like, I mean, things had, uh, things had changed over that course of a year, but I was, you know, no, what, what's up, man? You know, because uh, he kind of caught kind of in, in the real, we were kind of finishing out some stuff. So changing. So we were going through a seasonal change. You know, I do a lot of stuff that's seasonal. I said, what's up, man? Man, you know, I got this set up, blah, blah. And I could tell, I could just feel the energy or tell like, you know, just arms open, ears open, uh, man, you know, I got this set up, but, you know, I'm kind of, you know, not, not saying it's pretty much like saying I'm homeless, man. I'm just, I want a better debt. And I said, hold that thought. I got off the phone right then. I said, let, let me, I, I mean, literally I dropped everything I was doing and I was like, no, I could tell. I was like, no, we're, we're going to make this happen. I said, stand by. So I got on the phone, blah, blah, blah. I started working out these little deals. Call, I said, hey, so how soon could you could you be here? So it was like two days' time, and one of the funny things was Chevy was kind of – Chevy Rick really kind of figured out kind of like, oh, shit. You know, um, he calls me, and he goes um, – I said uh, – he." I was kind of waiting on the call, and I said, well, can you – look, I'll drive and come pick you up. Well, he just so happened had a buddy that was coming this way for work reasons. They were moving or something. And he said, well, I can get a ride. He said, well, let's – we're halfway. So it was like kind of like Monroe area, whatever. It's a couple hours away. And I was like, hey, what's up on that time frame, you know? And he was like, well, well, um, I got a um, – I got a um, – I, I, man, it was going to be like, I don't, I don't want to bother you because it'd be late. I said, look, motherfucker, I don't, I asked what fucking time do I need to be where I need to be? And he was like, 2 a.m. Fine. That's there. I literally, this was like later that night. Shit. I was a couple hours away. I jumped in the car. Um, I said, I'll be there. I will be there. You just, just, you just have your ass there, pack your shit and and i got you i damn i i got there um it, two o'clock in the fuck i was actually probably 30 minutes early uh i i got there two o'clock come he pulls up you got your shit through his what you know the little bit of belongings he had and um bam we went i had a really good circle of friends uh that that come along with me uh you know i had just set up because um you know, I just like I say, putting the, the people around me and doing the things we we were set out to do. It was like, hey man, look, I need, um, I, I, this is what I got going on, and they were all in the water. They say, look, I got a bed. He can come. I got some work. So I mean, day day fucking one, we show up. I was like, look, you're staying with me. So we stay with me for a couple of days, and then I just started putting him around people. I did it on purpose because I wanted him to, you know, hey. This is this was this is what we do, and so we started putting him around different people, you know, different friends, staying here, staying there, stuff like that. And I was went mixing it up, just trying to get him get his mind circulating, so it's not like, you know, feeling like you know he's like, oh man, you know, like with Chevy, he he was coming like, ah, oh, you know, he, he, I didn't, I don't, I didn't want to add, and I was like, dude, dude, you're good, you're gonna eat what I eat. You're going to work where we work. I, I got these different jobs going on. We're going to make money. We're going to put some fucking uh, uh, bread in your pocket. So I had a, a nice, I got like a big 32-foot camper and stuff like that. So I made some phone calls. Like I said, I'm very known in town. So like, in literally, it took us a couple of weeks. Uh, but literally, um, I ended up moving him down from my t towards my brother. And uh, made a phone call, told a friend of mine that he, he uh, I got a friend of mine that's got some property he don't even rent out, right? So he calls me, he goes, dude, I, I'm, I, I, bring your shit, I got this spot. And I was like, dude, you don't realize how much, I, and he was like, no, nah, man, he was like, anything for you. Uh, and we're still there. So we got down there, we have a whole big group of friends. Man, we, we set him up. I already had a vehicle and I gave him the keys. I was like, hey, man, look here's your fucking ride um you, you ride we'll figure this out later down the road uh, i mean i got stuff sitting around you know this is what we do and it really i but and it's not like i i did i'm not didn't do it to to, to count to to sitting here bragging on myself saying I mean, i'm counting points or stuff it just i i just had a you know there was at one time in my life i'll be honest with you someone give me a chance so that yeah, was kind of yeah. one of the things where I was like, you know, this motherfucker deserves a chance. And and if, if I ain't going to say you know, everything's 
it was easy, but, um, you know, it was kind of like, Hey, you know, I had father figures in my life. Uh, and, and it, we make a joke, you know, cause it, you know, and, it's, and it's funny. It is rarely easy, right? You know? Yeah. Yeah. No. And, and that's one of the things I said is like, Hey man, you know, this is not going to be easy. It's not going to be simple. Uh, there's going to be times where, you know, Hey man, but, but at the end of the day, you're going to be clothed. You're going to be fed. We're not, we're, we're, we're not going to do without. Uh, and, and I said, and, and them are the, the kind of the, the main morals in life of, of some of the stuff that I've done, you know, some, you, sometimes you, you do without, uh, the simple things, uh, it's really basic things in life, man. Right. You know, we're good. We, we eat, okay. we, we sit there and, and, and it just kind of really become a, a deal of like, man, you know, um, it, it, it just it weighed on me, and I just knew, like, man, this motherfucker deserves an ultimate chance, and and there's no sacrifice beyond what I'm what I've dictated or done to 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 did it to um not make this happen. Uh, like, I mean, when I full fledged, I mean, my kids, my wife, ev everybody's on board, um, and it's turned out so good. So then, you know, going into the training. Um, you know, we, we restructured a, a, just a whole, a whole nother life and just to, for the better good of, of, of Chevy, not, not a better good of me. You know, I'm good, man. You know, Jer That's Jeremiah's right. going to eat, bro. And, uh, yeah. and I'll be honest with you, man. I, I, he's, he's, I mean, he's just like a son to me, bro. Everybody knows that it's a joke because, you know, when we first got there, you know, all my friends, cause, uh, you know, uh, we were in the gym and stuff like that. And all my buddies was like. You met Jeremiah's Jeremiah, son, and some of our buddies are like, "What?" And I'm like, "Yeah, man. You know, back in the day, you know, I, I didn't. Even, and guess what? He's like, he's a fucking fighter, dude. How crazy is that? Can you so we, that? yeah. Can you imagine that? He's tattooed, you know. So, you nice. know, uh, it, it's just turned into just a, a very, very humbling experience. But, yeah. um, Good. you know, That's um, awesome. it's something I mean, that you you gave him a purpose but it also like it seems like he gave you another another purpose in life yeah i mean right. i don't know how many yeah. you've already fucking yeah. had already jeremiah yeah but, like, yeah no like it does you, you it does on these kind of challenges you know it was really funny uh i'll tell you a story we went to the movie so my son my son's 20 right so uh um they've never met each other before Right, and yeah, he said, yeah. "Do whatever." And he mate, yeah, like, he's like, "Where's my, <laughs> my fucking my asshole half brother?" Just didn't want to show. So, we all go to a movie night. And I got my son. I was like, "Hey, man, you know, we're, let's go watch a movie." He's like, all right, we get out of the car. Everybody gets out of the car, and I was like, "Hey, uh, this is hey, this is this is your other brother. You ain't met." He was really talking. I was like, "Brother, this, this is Jay. This is Chevy," and <laughs> it was so funny. But but really, it was all in all like a, it was a, it was a very cool 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 deal. You know what I'm saying? So that is super, uh, super awesome. So to hear. so now yeah. it's just like the kids, everybody. Ah, you know, dad, my, you know, uh, the, even his boys, like, hey, Papa Riggs, you know. So I mean, it, it's it, it goes in a whole whole realm of good and then going into that fight bro um going into his fight i knew i mean it, i really had to like totally restructure his whole game but i had to i had that there was things that we had to build up you know like you got to believe you got to really believe in this things that we do you know, spiritually mentally uh and i'll never forget you know the end of that first round on that and uh that, that he put i told him we i've seen it coming together because there was a lot of a lot of private training I do that I don't I don't just you know give out if that makes sense. And um, I told him I was like, what's gonna happen is this is gonna end up happening, and you're gonna be look you're gonna end up knocking this motherfucker on his ass, and you're gonna be looking over like wow. And I'm like, yeah, it works, don't it? And and I'll never forget in that first round the combination that was so perfect. We put it together one time in the garage, and boom, 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 and he does it, and and I could see it on his face, and I stopped him, and I was like, look, motherfucker, like you see what I'm saying? Like you didn't even know you did that with, with this repetition, repetition, and so we got that, and then in that fight. I watched two things happen, one with him and one with his opponent. It humbled one and it humbled the other. Uh, and when we come out of that fight, uh, I remember walking in the back with him. I said, hey, look, motherfucker, that you that that's not a loss 
that is not a loss. I can't tell you how proud of you I am of you. And some people couldn't fathom, like, oh, well, you know, got not. No, bro, you, this is a whole different kind of fighting. Bare knuckle, you know, you, you one little hit. You know, I mean, it, it, it took him. You know, so we've talked about this on DJ Tony's. I said, hey, man, sometimes it takes you. 11 12 seconds to to, to show you rub that shit off but in all in all that was such a win in life that i saw um man i just I, it's almost i can't it's hard to even explain how yeah. that really panned out in the bigger picture and it, it ain't gonna do nothing but make that person of I mean, himself such a better person that was a that was like a, a culmination of like a whole thing journey that you guys kind of were where you just gave us you just told us the whole journey that you were on and then you finally got to like see what you've been working on and he didn't just unfold i'll never forget yeah. stepping out of that ring nate shook and then was like what the fuck and i was like i told you man i told you <laughs> you know show. like this it's gonna change this guy i mean he's he's really put in the work um and it wasn't easy i mean holy fucking shit we went through a big emotional thing all the way around there he is that's my boy that's i raised that boy <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh and, 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 and just even that look right there and what was really cool was there's two photos there was yep, that there one is. and there was another one and then, i can grab the and, other one and, oh the gosh damn the they're photo, they, yeah. exact same fucking spot but it was good and then i'll say this even in the in that fight good for both of them Right. It was good for both of them, um, but very, very good. I was very proud of that that outcome. I mean, hey, you want the win, but that was a bigger win than than just that fight. And the, to me, it was, it was incredible. It was bigger than the fight, man. It was just bigger than the fight. It can, I mean, I I'm so happy for all of you guys with that whole thing. That that journey and the outcome of that. You just said it. How how proud you are. That's that's got to feel so good. We are we we got to talk about your your next oh, yeah there's there the is. look at that look at that I mean, <laughs> sorry from shot <laughs> Isn't that they're, crazy? they're almost in the exact same spot in the ring it's so I mean, crazy. It if that wasn't meant to be, dude, I, the people are just, just thinking so crazy. Of, they're, they're really they're just thinking about the wrong kind of shit. That is just the the whole position, the look over the, the shoulder, everything, <laughs> just so, the whole. The it's whole, so wild, whole, eh? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just the whole, the whole, the that's, whole that's grand gotta scheme be, of that's got to get put on a poster, man. I'm telling you, that's fucking unbelievable. Yeah. Um, I mean, we got to talk about you and your fight before we uh, before we wrap up tonight. You are fighting Sonny Smith now. This is a. Yes. Uh, this is a guy who's had a couple fights for BKB overseas. He's yep. not a rookie. He's not a rookie for bare knuckle no. fighting. Tough dude. Um, and they needed a short notice. I how when did you find out? A couple days ago or a week ago? Yeah, man, really just about. I mean, a week. Uh, let's see. What I don't even remember. Shit, my days are so jacked up. But just say within this this past week. Oh, hold on. What's today? All right. What's today? So days. Today's the Thursday. Uh, yeah. So the day I posted it was the day that uh, that that Monday or so Sunday. Sunday I knew I, we si I signed the con I signed the contract Monday morning and then uh, wow. they hit me up and was like, hey, because um, you know uh, people don't realize, hey, was you brewing this up? And I was like, well, there's some things you just you, you can't, people don't realize that you know contract ways. You know, you know, of course, I'm very, I'm very loyal. I'm very, very respectful of doing that, you know, and then it's kind of like that's that's the whole hype of it. You know, it's kind of ba bam. Guess what, guys? Um, but yeah, because so I did know I didn't know, you know, I mean, I literally come here. Um, it just helping Belcher train. You know, I've been training. I've been training my ass off. Uh, and of course, you know, previous, you know, I already had a. I was actually going to be fighting on the Miami card. Oh, uh, but it was kind of it was kind of like up in the air. But it was yeah. it would have been uh, say short notice too. But no, you're this was Monday. This, you're talking about this past one in Hollywood or the up the Miami one coming the, up? The upcoming, the upcoming okay. one on the fifteenth. So so Sonny Smith was supposed to fight. Um, originally, he was supposed to fight Dustin Thompson. Okay. Um, when. So, like, did, did they tell you what happened to his original opponent, or no, did they say anything you know, to you, or did just ask send you me if you the, wanted it? 
Hey, send the contract, man. You know, I'm I'm David Feldman, Nate Shook, you send guys, Kevin Smith. Just send the fucking lo- location, and it was a Canada. <laughs> and I'll be honest with you, dude. I cannot be more excited to go over to to represent the, the not only myself, uh, not only my team, but uh, and the and the company, but. The United States. I mean, you know, some people say, well, you know, people look at oh, Canada versus U.S. But in the in the, in the deal, it really is. You know, and that's that's a dream come true to me is those fighting international. I've always wanted to go to Japan. You know, honestly, just talking about this with Canada. Oh gosh, I want to go to Thailand and the UK. There's absolutely I, one Thailand would probably no be really up on my list, and I really hope that you can we start getting getting these you know an inner uh, inner con, you know it's kind of if you look at you know we got they have their belt they have UK belt we have our yep. belt. I really hope you start seeing an intercontinental <laughs> shift to where. Hey man, <clears throat> you want to go? If we 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 have a chance to go fight for the Thailand belt, we have a chance to go fight for the UK belt. Sign me up, man. And in Canada, I'm sure they might even. I would think that they ought to do one themselves too. I think it's great for the sport. It's great. Uh, I think Dave and them guys are on to something. It's great. Uh, I mean, hey, you were talking about world wrestling. I mean, this this is this is no fake shit on what we do. But if you right. look at the structure, they have an intercontinental champion. They have a champ. You know, that would be really really huge. I mean, because boxing, I don't really follow how their boxing belts do, but yeah, there are. Oh fuck! There's so many of them. I <laughs> believe the shift of BKFC. Uh, from what I'm looking at, is it might be shifting or going in that direction? And dude, for someone like me uh, to just and, I, and I'm you know, going into you know um, sealing my legacy of of what I've been doing in the sport, giving back, uh, giving these young guys a chance. You know, um, man, I think it's big to be um, you know like uh, we talked on uh, the other show the other night was like you know being on the prospects. Uh, no, that's uh, not a down. Down. we're we're not we're not this ain't no lower level deal you know yeah. taking someone like myself and putting it on the prospect series is huge because you take someone that i, I know uh, of my status of of where i've been it gives these guys something to look up to and you uphold the standard we're not lowering the fucking bar guys we're yeah. right you know i'm setting the i, I want to set the example for others to follow whether it, it comes with a championship you know that's that's the goal everybody knows my goal but it, whether it comes with that or not i promise you i don't i don't have to I don't have to have that to solidify what I'm going to give to this sport and what I'm giving into it and giving back to other people. Right. Did you know Sonny Smith at all or, or was this, no, it didn't, it didn't matter. I, I no, know it didn't no, matter, but. no, it didn't. No, it don't. Uh, but, uh, just, I, I've watched the fight and, you know, the do I mean, Hey man, one thing about fighting that I realize, you know, nobody gets taken lightly, dude. I'm not, I'm not looking. You know, you're not going to hear me. Oh, I'm fixing to walk through. You know, I, hey, bro, I understand the exact form of fighting we're doing. I mean, the guy's not accepting fights for 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 no reason. You know, I've I've, already, I've had a fight turned down. I was I was good. Hey, send me the location, and uh, we don't we don't want that smoke. Okay, that's fine. Um, next please um so to me you know i'm i i i i I, you know i know you've seen where i post when i first posted it you know hey my my simple words enough said i thank you sonny smith for the for accepting for accepting the about you know uh to me that that says a lot too um a short notice or not you know there still has to be an acceptance period there they could have easily been like no man we don't we may not ready for that, but I, I don't think that's the case. I don't look at that the case. I'm going in this, you know, I train every fight like you, you should you should fight like every fight's a championship fight. That's just the way I look at it. Short notice or not, you've got you've got a chance. You put on the show, it's it's gonna be one hundred percent um everything I have, everything I, I'm structured to do and um and, and I'm very humble about it, man. You know, I'm not sitting here making predictions, man, I'm fixing to knock this dude. I'm I'm not tra- you know, I'm not gonna tra- man, I don't I'm not I'm not that's not me. Everybody knows though what what I bring to the table. And if they don't, well then all they gotta do is just watch. 
Yes, and sir. it's a, and it's another BKB guy. Like this is the second one out of your four four That's fights right. in the BKFC. Yeah, you, yeah. You know, and I'm and, and and that excites me though because I do know I could watch. You know the guy the, the guy stays behind a jab. He fights on the on his back foot. You know he has his own style. So do I. Um, and and he's he's had two good wins. He so he's fought in some UK guys. You know, and to me, them are some of the guy to me. Uh, everybody has their 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 um, differences on who who's the best man. I'm gonna tell you, man. Them guys have got to figure. They've been doing it a lot longer than we have. I mean, I'm yeah. just gonna tell you that. Now, I I believe you know your Tyrannies, your James Lillies, uh, which is two. I follow both of them guys. Shout out to both of them. You know, I, I I'm I'm a fan of both of them. But um, them guys, you know, them when they get over there, man, that's how they settle shit, man. You know, get on YouTube, watch, man. The UK guys, they that's they doing that shit in the street and one on one. You know, over here, you know, ain't nobody doing that. <laughs> um, so I, yeah, people shooting yeah. shit. But um, so I do know. He He's been in there with great guys. I mean, B the BYB. I mean, uh, BKB the BKB. Uh, man, that's that's really was a big start over there. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. um, don't really know about it, but I mean, all them guys are game, man. And I mean, I don't know Sonny Smith's game too. I mean, he's going to be a guy. This is to me. This is a really, really good matchup, man. I'm super excited about this fight. I'm super excited uh, for my opponent. Um, and, and I just know this is just going to be just a really, really good, good, uh, it's good for me. Good experience. It's going to be a challenge in so many ways. Uh, but, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm built different. I'm ready for it. Uh, it's been a, it, it, the layoff It's you know, a lot of people probably yeah. say, man, it's been, it's been a year. It's been, man, that that's. You're not, you're not, you know, when, you know, all in all, you're not going to hear me say nothing about it. And here's the thing the dictates, you know, it's going to be a long plane ride, man. I worked with the company to make this happen. Um, you know, we're leaving out on that Thursday, dude. I'm driving four hours just to help them get me on a plane ride to get my ass to Canada. Um, it's going to be a weight cut involved in this, it, but you're not going to hear me say one damn thing about it anything that made it hard because that's what i do i like doing it the hard fucking way man well not a lot of people are built like you are anymore my friend <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah not from a different cloth that's um, right. one of our one of my last questions for you before we let you go is uh who's going with you we, we, you talk about your team you're a big you're you're very loyal to your team um, who's, who's taking the trip up to Canada with you? Who are we going to see? So this for? is, so this is, this is an awesome one, man. So, so everybody, so we're here. My entire team is on the game bread card in Orlando the same night, March the 2nd. Oh, we shit. all are fighting on the same night. So I'm actually bringing up uh, on the Wagner fight. A lot of people, uh, my, uh, uh, this takes me back 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 when i very first started fight when i was with uh frank shamrock and them guys in san jose california somebody that took me under their wing clint cornell uh you can look him up you know uh triple c he's he's a boxing coach he's two-time golden glover and he was uh one of frank's high students but one of my dear friends we've all even i haven't been out there in years we've always kept in touch i always this was one of the people that set the base for me in in fighting they taught me a lot about the boxing game and and going from that um this was it's really good because we're we get to finish what we started and wow. for me that's huge so because i brought him in on the wagner fight flew him in from california he stayed with me if you notice there was a big difference in style for me i, I you know I, I was adapting different techniques uh so he's actually flying out there to to, to corner me and um and, and be that guy uh to finish what we started in this game uh which Love is going to be really really huge part of of my camp and um it, it's different because um you know a lot of things that you know it's outside of like the camp we're in so you know um i haven't had him here with me but i, I keep him here with me if that makes sense right uh so and you trust um, him. we and you we know him we, and you trust him right. oh dude i, I know the voice uh, very much trust. I mean, this this is a very, very, a very high level uh, part of in my career and in someone that's really dear to my heart. And um, 
is something somebody that takes it ultimately seriously um the the videos the stuff that we 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 that the 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 the, the material that that i get to watch and see uh, or that we go over i know how to put it in play um so uh just getting back into to to going back to the last fight we get to finish what we start that's a real big thing for me because uh that's something that you know i I thrive on and it's something that i I hold true truly dear uh to to my heart and and mind you know good shit good shit jeremiah it was uh when we saw the announcement when we saw that you shared it i I texted mike i said hey we got to get jeremiah on the show as soon as we can so thank you so much for coming on here um we're going to let you get going because me and Mike have to be up at 5 o'clock or 4.30, 5 yeah, o'clock in the morning because we're still about. doing Army shit. You know how <laughs> it is. And uh, so we got to work in the yeah, morning. I know how it is. But um, we just just real quick, real quick, how does the fight end? I say a KO, man. I'm really digging for one. Um, I, I, I think that this – I mean, it's it's all it's all you know. It's it's not something that I, I want to say. You know, hey, it's all. It, it, but it is. It's all or nothing, man. You know, for me, it's, it's 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 no guts, no glory. You know, going in there, just putting on a fucking show. If it goes five rounds, it goes five rounds because I know he can go the distance. Yeah. And one thing I teach in my in in my guys is, hey, man, you've got five rounds to dictate this. Um, I'm, I'm not. I'm not big on calling rounds. Hey, we're gonna do this in the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Uh, but I really believe that this is gonna be the fight that everybody wants to see. And I and I have a very good, um, a, a very good dictation of of the opponent. I know I do understand what the guy's gonna bring to the table. And for me. That's this is what I'm looking for, man. That's what I'm looking for. You know, like I said, you know, send me the location. It just happens to be in Canada with a with another strong opponent. And um, you know, there's 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 no shit talking. It's gonna be one hundred percent real. You see what you get, and I can't wait for the face off. I can't wait to 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 just because I know he's gonna be representing where he he is, and I'm gonna be representing where I'm in. And all I can say is this is fixing to be a clash clash of uh, United Nations. You know. I'm saying we fixing to lock it up to step on that fucking scratch line yes. and show them show them exactly what what we are you know and i'm gonna imprint a, a big deal of what i bring to the table and and um I don't know, hopefully bring one of the one of them flags back if that makes sense i love it well hey man i love talking to you and i hope that this is going to be the banger that we're all expecting and i hope this catapults you into a a busy, successful 2024 because you. Uh, we already talked about the long layoff. It, it's been too long. We all love to see you fight. So best of luck to you. March 2nd, Edmonton, Canada. You take on some Sonny Smith. Um, Mike, you got anything else for Jeremiah Big Rig Riggs before we get him out of here? Man, can't wait for the fight as usual. Hopefully uh, we run into you soon at another event. You know, last sure. time we ran into you, we had some fun. We were out till like what? I think we were out till like three thirty in the damn. Morning. Oh, dude, it, yeah, it that. was. <laughs> <laughs> so, can't wait to see you again, man. It's always a great time. Thank you for coming on tonight. We will be following everything you do. Love you, man. Yep. Can't wait. Love to have you, you guys. Back on the show. Like I said, thank you, Mike and Mish, man. For everybody that don't know, I know what y'all bring to the table in this sport. I text you the other night, Kyle. Absolutely. You know, just letting great, you man. know, like, hey guys, you know, y'all are the fixing to. I think y'all are the pinnacle to helping the fighters and helping the BKFC grow in a whole nother way. Um, I, I I do realize that. I do understand the sacrifices you guys make. For, for me and my team and everybody, we appreciate you. We appreciate your service to, for what you do for us. It does not go unnoticed. Um, for everybody on my team, I love you guys. For everybody, all my bull riders, all my fighters, you guys, you know, keep carrying it on. Uh, you got to have that mental mental toughness the discipline you, you got to set the example for others to follow you know um sua sponte is something we in the ranger Corps, you know of their own accord you know you got to have some integrity in the game uh i'm gonna bring that every time i step in the ring any 
in awe of what you've got. I thank you for all the sponsors, all my community, everybody that's always supported me um, and, and through thick and thin uh, for the sacrifices that I've made for my family, uh, my mom, my dad, my wife, my kids. Um, you know, I love you all, and um, I do carry that with me in a big way. And 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 going into this, um, I, I I carry that, and this is just what I do, man. I walk the I walk the walk the line, and I got to go into that hell just just to remind me sometimes to just know what I'm doing and um, it's just a way of expressing you know hey I tell people you know I'm gonna bleed for it and when I do I really fucking mean it hell yeah man I believe it too man I you're many your word go have yourself you. a Rocky Four moment up there in uh, Canada and uh, do us proud and we will talk to you afterwards my friend thanks guys All right, love you take man. it easy and take we'll easy, see brother. everybody Appreciate in a it. second alright What's up, guys? It's me, the Killer B, and I'm watching the Mike and Miss show. I hope you are. Don't be a stew not and tune in. Don't be a stew not. Don't be a stew not and tune in, you fucking jerk off. Yeah, what are we doing with the background there? There you go. Hey, yeah, man, well, it's hey. hard to it's hard to match Jeremiah Riggs's energy and um. I can't wait to see him back in there. It's been far too long. Like I said, he fought Connor Turney, who is no fucking walk in the park. Went five rounds with him. Didn't end the way he wanted to, obviously, but they traded knockdowns. He got, he, you know, he got the L there. And then his very next fight, I want to say that Billy Wagner was like ranked number three in the 165 division at the time. It, it wasn't like he was jumping into an easy one after that. And then he had the unfortunate accident with his knee, the incident with his knee. So now that he's healthy and he's back, uh, he gets this huge opportunity to go up there and fight on the first Canadian card ever. You know, he's a former Ranger, so he takes the American flag very serious. So I'm, yep. I'm sure that... He like jumped at the opportunity to, you know, drape that flag over his shoulders and fucking go up there and do his thing. So best of luck to Jeremiah. And and what he's what he's doing with Chevy, like we talked a lot about that and, and we had to because he's really changing that kid's life for the better. Like he's really helping Chevy Bridges out and everybody loves Chevy. So that's super cool. And and you can tell by the way he speaks on it that he really is proud of what he's doing with Chevy and he really treats yep. him like a son. Yep. You know what I mean? It's very yeah, yeah, and Chevy was happy about it too. So very cool story. Tony Loco Soto in the comments. What's up, Tony? I think it's uh high time you get back on the show, get back in the squared circle. Man. High high time. Yeah. It's high time. It is. Um, so thank you very much for uh for J, uh, Jad Masan Wong and, and uh, Jeremiah Riggs for stopping in. Thank you to all of our guests last night, G Gabriel Roman and uh, Crystal Van Vyke and and um, James Get Down Brown. It was another great week for us. We had uh, back to backs for the first time in a while, and uh, we're going to do the same thing next week. And a lot of people in the comments section were asking about Ruben Roundstone. Yes, and uh, I'm talking I to him. Right. Currently. I'm thinking like so maybe next, next maybe next Wednesday we'll be yep. dancing with Ruben Roundstone. Is that how the song goes? That's how it goes. Yeah, that's the <laughs> lyrics. <laughs> so, and uh, I I don't know too much about him, but somebody in the comments uh, said that Jeremiah is not going to have a lot of time to prepare before his fight because Ruben Roundstone's fighting before him. So I'm I'm assuming. And I apologize for not knowing ahead of time, but I'm assuming Ruben Roundstone is a knockout artist and he's about to fucking plant his flag in the BKFC up there in Canada. So I also hear he has a crazy background story and I'm yeah. not going to ruin any of it. So to say, but I heard he has a really, really interesting and crazy background. So I can't wait to talk to him about his life. And uh, what he's got in store for us in Canada on March 2nd. 
So can't wait to see it. Mike, do you have any big plans for the weekend? Uh, oh, I know what you got planned for the weekend. Never mind. I'm yeah. sorry. I just teased you with that one. Mike's yep. going to be playing army, doing army shit. Yep. This weekend. Platoon Loser. Sergeant. That's right. That is what I'll be doing. Platoon Sergeant. That's right. Mike yep. Hunold. The, uh, oh, AKA man. Platoon Daddy. That's me. The, the old platoon daddy taking care of all the fucking stunads. That's what I do. That's what I'm going to be doing all weekend, making sure everybody's taken care of and laying down the law if I need to. I'll be knife handing right in your chest and inside your face, right inside <laughs> of it. Boom. Yeah. Where are you? Why aren't you here on time? Get here now. Exactly. But, yeah, and and before and, and last thing before we go. I believe the tryouts are taking place at our boy Kevin Smith's gym this weekend, right? The BKFC tryouts in Tampa yep. at the Jackson Wink Smith Brothers gym down there. So best of luck to everybody down there running the tryouts, Lytle and Kevin and all those guys. And uh, hopefully they find some nice prospects down there in the fucking sunny state of Florida. So, Yes, sir. That's, that's my face, that's, everyone. Half right face, everyone. You know what, Half dude? Right. Yeah. Oh, God, Not we can. Position. Boop. Yeah, we can talk for another. Do oh, you yeah. remember? Do you remember like the story I told you when I was a platoon, platoon sergeant? This was like fucking probably eight years ago, and I fucking I got so mad at my guys, and I'm like, what? What time is our formation in the morning? And they're like zero seven. I'm like, then why the fuck? Did six of you run up here at 0659? If you know it's 07, you get here fucking 15 minutes early and you be in this. So tomorrow, what time is formation? They said 07. I go, no, it's 0645. So what fucking right. time are you guys getting here? 630. All right. So get here and be in formation at 0645 for a 07 or we're fucking doing some work. Dude. Of course, I had a, the couple dickheads that come running up right at 07 again. Yeah, the ones so that never learned. My anything. immediate thing was right after formation was over, I said, fall out and fall in on me in front of the gym. And I went out there and I just made them do push ups for like 20 fucking minutes. I got called like to the front fucking office and they were like, did you smoke your platoon today? I'm like, uh, no. I'm like, no. Yeah. Smoke them. Yeah. I'm like, did I, I just smoke made him do them? some push-ups? I'm like, did I did I smoke them? I put him in the front lean and rest, and we fucking did push-ups for like 15, yeah. 20 minutes. And then when I got go the for point across, right? When I got the point across, I said, get up, fucking fell, uh, you know, closed up the formation, and I said, get to fucking work and be here on to be here early tomorrow, or we're doing this shit again. There was no smoke session, but I caught shit for that. That's the yeah. thing. I, like, yeah. Just you know what I mean? Like, I, I was like the new, I mean, we're part of it right now. And there's like, there's guys like us that don't want it to be like that. But unfortunately, like there's you, forces working against us. People. Yeah, <laughs> there's forces working against. Us. So good luck to Mike keep working against this us. weekend, Mike. Doing you know what, what I'm, I'm doing? doing, Mike? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to coach my kids basketball team in the first round of the playoffs. We're going to get a W and we're going to go on to beat another team the week after and win the championship. It's only two round playoffs. So win or go home on Saturday, we're going to win. And then next weekend, we're going to take home a trophy. And then I'll probably, and as much as I don't want to, I'll probably watch some UFC this Saturday because there's nothing else on TV. So. Yeah. That's what I got planned. Mike will be playing Army. And I hope yep. you guys all had a good time this week with us. And tune in next week. We'll let you know who we're going to have on before that happens. Uh, anything else, Mikey? No, man. I am ready to go to bed. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you like the new format. We've been working on this. We've been working hard, and we're going to keep bringing you some new stuff. So, yeah, till let us week. let us know how you like the new new format in the comment section. If you like it, let us know. If you if you uh, if you if you want us to go back to the old way, uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, too much work. Too much work. All right, peace.